Well, hey everybody, I hope that you are having a great day. Um, it is release day for 2021 Top Series 1. Um, after a long hibernation for me, I am just happy to be back. And uh, we're going to open and start off the year with a hobby box. It's got Mr. Juan Soto there on the front. And um, um, we're just ha I'm just really, truly happy to turn the page and turn the calendar uh, from 2020 to 2021. Um, I hope that your 2021 uh, is going better than your 2020. Not that much has changed, but uh, definitely um, super excited about this. And so uh, really appreciate you guys watching. Here is the hobby box right there. You're going to look for one autograph or relic card. Uh, usually it's a relic. There's the hobby there. Uh, here is the side of the box. Uh, they're going to do the home run challenge, blah, blah, blah. There we go. Let's get going. I don't want to do it. I know there's a lot of videos of these already out there. Uh, seems like a lot of the retail products hit the... Um, Hit these shells before uh, even the uh, re uh, hobby product uh, was released today. So I just got back from my LCS, grabbed one of these. It's got uh, what 24? I think it's does it usually? Yeah, 24 packs right there. 14 cards per pack. So we'll have over 300 cards. Uh, we got this awesome, amazing uh, silver pack right there from 2021. And then we will go ahead and get the rest of these out of the box, and we will get going. Um, love the cover guy there, Juan Soto this year. One of the best all around, just one of the most best players in baseball. He has moved over to right field this year, and uh, uh, he is gonna. I, the guy is just if he stays healthy and he continues to hit the way that he hits, he is definitely gonna be a Hall of Famer here. So, there's the pack right there, you can see it right there, and let's get going. Really do appreciate you all watching this. Um, super excited about, like I said, the 2021 new design. I love the white borders. Uh, kind of really did love Big League last year. Let me turn this beep down on my computer. Uh, so since we don't have to hear that the whole video, every time an email comes in. Um, so I love the white border. I really love Big League last year. So I really enjoyed uh, this. I'm, I'm, I'm about neutral on this design. Um, I really don't like how small the name is um for uh just don't love the smallness of the name but other than that it's a pretty sweet looking design like i said i always like the white borders let's take a look right here at the back of the uh, card really nice and clean and classic um looks really really good um our second card he is no longer a rookie boys ladies and gents he is a future star now so there's that second year uh, card of Mr. Bo Bichette. Um, definitely going to be looking for uh, not only our uh, autograph, um, but also, um, or autograph or a relic, um, but definitely looking for uh, short prints and parallels, um, inserts. They got some really cool ones this year. Um, I love, uh, we'll talk about it when we get there, but I uh, love the 1986 Tops design. And I can't wait to get a couple of players, uh, that card right there. So, um, like I said, I haven't been really naming off all these guys. Uh, they are really hard to read. There's a Carter Key Boom. Um, okay, so we got us uh, gold right off the bat. Nice gold of Joey Bart, his rookie card. That is labeled number two, 2021. Um, so very, very, very awesome card. Nice rookie. I think he's going to be a good one out there in San Francisco. We'll have to see, uh, Buster Posey, what they do with him. Um, but, uh, definitely, uh, going to be, I think, a good one there. Uh, there's Travis Darno, another catcher. Um, you Darvish and Ryan Yarbrough. I, I did notice something about tops. I feel like they've done a lot of the... Um, horizontal cards, like they put like a whole bunch of them, like a run in a row at the end of the packs. Uh, so it's kind of, it's kind of different, kind of unusual there. So that's pack one down. We have got 23 more to go. <laughs> it's a snow day here in, uh, where I am, uh, living here in St. Louis. And so, uh, kids are at home. So if you hear a little bit of uh, noise in the background, that is them. They are home and hanging out today with me and there's a nice Mike Clevenger there on the Padres in his Padres uniform. 
Got Nelson Cruz, who just signed back with Minnesota. Um, I we were just I was just talking to this about with my boys on. Uh, they were just talking about this on uh, national radio or the radio. Um, we have a local ESPN here in, in in town, and they're talking about the Cardinals and they're talking about the Universal DH. I don't know what your feelings are on it, but I love the DH. I don't understand. I do not want to see. I get there's a, like a strategy behind it. Blah blah blah. I would rather see Nelson Cruz hit than a pitcher strike out 13 out of 15 times or try to bunt. It just, it doesn't make sense. These guys make a ton of money now. And um, to get hurt, maybe running around the bases, it makes absolute no sense. So I'm really, truly hoping, even with only like a couple weeks left to spring training, that they um, definitely bring in the DH. There's Mr. Kendrick. He is retired this year, but this so this is one probably be one of his last baseball cards. And, you know, I know they kind of put retired players in it, but we'll see how many more he gets. All right. So there is our autograph right off the bat. It's a nice on-card autograph. And there's the 1986 style. Um, very, very cool. I love these 86 styles. It reminds me of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite rookie cards of my player that uh, I grew collecting uh, right there that 1986 rookie card of will clark so i love the 86 style in this and uh, we got a nice rookie uh tyler stevenson uh from the reds i haven't really heard about him i don't know if he's one of the top guys but uh definitely uh glad to get an auto and definitely glad to get um not a pitcher so there's the back right there not numbered or anything like that just a standard auto so pretty cool um Probably not the yeah. Go ahead, Nate. Um, not the not not the biggest name in the world, but you can't really go wrong with a rookie autograph. Got my youngest boy here helping me. He's gonna open up a pack and hand it over. He don't want to show it, right? Okay, he never shows. He never talks. He he is this my silent helper here. Uh, Eddie Alvarez, nice rookie card there. There's a nice Casey Mize. He's one of the big names. Uh, uh, Cisco Sanchez. He's another big rookie. Big things the Marlins are expecting from him. This is like a Marlins pack. <laughs> There's Garrett Cole. Mitch Keller. Jackson Provar. All right. There's a home run derby card. Who do we got? Got Jordan Alvarez. Very nice. I think he's going to be back. And hopefully he'll stay healthy and uh, hit the way he did before um, you know, uh, he got hurt there. So here we go with our horizontal cards. Nice, uh, Padres there with Tatis on it and Trevor Williams. Thank you. There's another good rookie right there. Christian Pache. We saw him last year. He's Manning, uh, really good defensive player. Um, and, uh, defensive, <laughs> Good enough at defense to move him, uh, Acuna Jr. over to right field this year uh, and a bit of last year right there. So I think he's going to be a good one. Contreras, Malik Smith. Uh, this is, I think, the weirdest thing about some of the cards in 2021 is you're going to see the guys wearing masks. And uh, it was definitely a unique year. I think this one's going to be another long, unique year. Uh, we'll see how long all this stuff lingers. Um it's not like we are uh, seeing a whole bunch of uh, speed uh, at getting uh, this um, conquered, <laughs> I guess is maybe the best word. But uh, there's been a tenny. There has been a lot of chatter about him being moved, but he hasn't been moved yet. Uh, Gray and who is that guy? What was his name? Chadwick Trump. Not heard of him. He's a catcher. So it's like another catcher. So they got Buster Posey, who might not be playing catcher this year. I don't know. Maybe he'll slide over to first base or something. Um, then we got uh, uh, Joey Bart and then the other one. So there's a good one right there. Oh, no. I, I'm going to get tricked every time. I feel like the Luis Robert is looks exactly like that. <laughs> so I thought that was – I mean, let's just say. Let's give it up. There's Luis Garcia. He's second baseman. I, I don't know if it's a good one or not. <laughs> He's not like a superstar. Uh, means. Um, let's see what we got going here. Charlie Morton, who is not a, on the Tampa Bay anymore. He is a Brave. Is that right? Is he a time with the Braves over there? Uh, Matt Chapman. 
Another 1986. Very, I love these cards, man. Oh, I love the throwback cards with modern players. Nice Christian Yelich. That is an awesome looking card. We got Pollock. Uh, another couple of rookies. White. And a future stars of Mr. Trent Grisham. Pretty awesome looking card there. Him playing center field. I like Trent Grisham. Garrett. DJ LeMahieu, league leaders. Uh, the Yankees got a deal done with him. Signed on to stay there. So uh, he does kind of seem like a definitely a Yankee for good now. So he will definitely be there. Got another 1986 card coming up of Evan White, rookie first baseman. It's a really, really cool looking card. Like I said, man, I, I could open up if they made a whole. Yeah, go ahead, Nate. Uh, made up a whole another pack. Here you go. You can open up another one. Um, if they made up a whole uh, series of that, sorry, you get distracted. Um, of these 86 cards, I would absolutely buy them up. Got the Chicago White Sox. <laughs> now, there you go. Now, that card says 19 or 2020 more than anything. You got <laughs> Guerrero Jr. given, uh, what is that, Jansen, um, some uh, hand sanitizer <laughs> before the old high fives, I guess. Man, that's crazy. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, Alex Gordon, who has retired, he had a really nice career there in Kansas City, and he has decided to go ahead and be done there. All right, let's take this double stack. We had boys open up one pack each. A good pack in there. Oh, a good pack for my oldest son. I'm going to guess like a Bryce Harper is coming. No? Oh, all right. Okay. We got Joey Votto. Nice Alvarez card. Nico Horner, future star. So all those big rookies. Nice Harrison Bader for my Cardinals. We're going to see if he, he is a great defensive player. We'll see if he can turn around and get a good hit, uh, become a good hitter this year. And uh, we'll never argue about getting Cardinals. Uh, and D.D. Uh, Strange. Uh, Gordon, he just signed a minor league deal. Oh, who was it? The Reds. He just signed with the Reds. Um, and there he is wearing the mask. But uh, going to be a nice utility player there for the Reds as they try to make some uh, moves. There's Gleyber Torres. Josh Donaldson. Nice Paul Goldschmidt. That's what my oldest son was talking about. He has uh, become quite the uh, Paul Goldschmidt fan. So that will definitely go over to him. And uh, we'll be looking for another Cardinal Yachty for my youngest. Um, very, very cool looking card there. Atlanta Braves, Minnesota Twins, Colorado Rockies. I think this is like, well, other than a, I'm a big Trevor Story guy. And there he is right there. Kind of in the middle. There he is right there. And um, I just really, the only card other than like a relic or an autograph card, he's not in the base set. So that's going to be his only base set card there. Um, for this, uh, for series one, got Gardner, who I don't believe is actually signed yet. Uh, I don't know if the Yankees are bringing him back or what. I might be wrong about that. Maybe he's signed by now. Um, I do not know all the big rookies yet. Um, so I might be passing over some of the guys that, uh, might be, uh, some of the big rookies, but they will grow on me and I will get to know and learn them a little bit better, um, as the, year goes on. I am not a big, huge prospect guy. I know people love Bowman and I'm just not, I, I'd rather them. I, I, and honestly, I think it kind of dilutes a little bit. Like the, some of these guys that are rookies already have like five years of cards and Bowman cards. And it's just like, I just wish a rookie card was a rookie card, but I get it. I get, love people. People love getting those prospect cards. It's kind of taking more of a gamble, but I'm not a big fan. There's, it's a pretty cool like uh, insert there of Rizzo. Got the Diamondbacks with Cattell Marte. I really like him. The Pirates. So a lot of these, uh, a lot of the team cards again this year. Um, Brazier and Nolan Arenado. So there, we'll talk about him for just one second. Uh, if you haven't heard, which, right. you know, I will say after you're following baseball, you have. But there is the newest St. Louis Cardinal and uh, super excited to have him. I'm a little bummed because I feel like since they got Arenado that the Cardinals 
with all this money coming off that next year, um, I was hoping they would take a run at Trevor Story. Not saying that they won't, but uh, kind of feel like they this is their big ticket. And we'll see. Maybe they will. Um, I know that they're, uh, I read in an article that uh, they're pretty good friends. So maybe it actually helps. But really excited to have Arenado here in St. Louis this year. And um, just can't wait to watch him play baseball. Not that... Uh, I have YouTube TV, and uh, they have gotten rid of Fox Sports Midwest, where all the Cardinals games are, and uh, I know that there's a whole big deal with all of that, like they're trying to, uh, you know, they're getting pulled off a lot of different places, and you got to basically have cable, which I will not be getting. Uh, so, so I hope they get all that. I know they switched over to a different uh, name, not to make this a commercial for them, but uh, I know they signed up with a... Uh, a, a um, what was I going to say, uh, casino, and now they're going to be doing it, and they might be releasing their own app or whatever. I'm just like, look, I don't care what it is. Let's just get it done so I can watch some Cardinals baseball because um, I'll get blocked out if I go to MLB, uh, and I know there's ways around that, but I am don't like to do things that are uh, not 100% legal. I'd rather just pay for them and be done and to do it the right way. So we we're hitting some Joey Bart cards. This is a number, but this is a nice uh, rainbow foil. One in every 10 packs for that. So nice Joey Bart card there. Mm -hmm. We've got Rodriguez, Swanson, Sheffield, Kevin Biggio, who uh, I'm going to probably say we won't see it. Go ahead, Owen. Um, that we probably won't see it in this. Uh, uh, I probably won't see it in this box. But the only super 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 short print is of Kevin Biggio and it's actually a really cool card uh it's got Kevin and his dad Craig Biggio on the same card it's really really cool looking I saw it today online and uh it's really really sweet uh Monte Harrison there's another Joey Bart so we have a Joey Bart what was the first one Joey Bart gold Joey Bart rainbow foil Joey Bart regular card <laughs> so uh we're becoming a Joey Bart collector there's a big rookie for me this year. Um, I know he had uh, some cards in last year's uh, 2020 stuff, but this is officially his going to be his rookie year and where we hope that he has a big year. But Mr. Dylan Carlson, uh, Cardinals just traded um, uh, Dexter Fowler over to the Angels. So I'm pretty sure that now uh, Dylan Carlson is going to be manning. Right field is all his. And so it is either he's going to take it over and be the guy that they think or we will see in a couple of years but uh really excited about Dylan Carlson um and having a guy that I man I just hope he becomes like a you know Cardinals haven't had a guy like a pool holes or a um a, a Tatis or you know whatever it, the big guy in baseball and it would be really great it might not be him maybe it's another guy down the road but we'll see uh love Cody Bellinger the guy's a beast. Uh, this is the kind of guy like I would love for uh, the the Cardinals would have like uh, drafted and would have had a player like uh, Bellinger. But guy is awesome. Uh, we'll see if the Dodgers can hang on to him after all of those big contracts. That's a cool looking card. Um, what is that, Francisco Lindor? Obviously, he is going over to the Mets uh, in the big deal there. And uh, with the Cleveland, uh, not that Cleveland got that great of the deal, but uh, definitely one of the first moves um i'm not real 100 percent sure what is that in uh, 80 something or a not i mean a 90 something car i'm not 100 percent sure i'm pretty sure it's a 70 no that's 70 years of tops they all have 70 years on them hmm. there's texas rangers joey wendell get up mr alonzo there hoping that he has a turnaround year um and definitely hoping that uh that the Mets will be a, definitely a team that will be helped by uh, the DH if they bring it in. Ruiz, there's another one. There's a, there's a guy I know that's a pretty good uh, rookie. Uh, he made his uh, debut last year. So he's got not only the rookie card, but the old gold cup, which is uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny to always to see that they've got both on there. Garcia, Franco, Goslin. Another, oh, I like that one. I like that one a lot. 1986 style Bo Bichette. 
second year card. Then I'll show you the back of these. They look like the 1986 cards. Uh, that's a really, really, really cool looking card. Um, man, like I said, I love these 86. Um, man, those are beautiful cards. Let's get that shadow off of there. We got Austin Meadows. Escobar, there's Mookie Betts, uh, insert World Series 2020. The Dodgers absolutely, with the signing of Trevor Bauer, um, definitely look like they are going to uh, be the team looking to repeat and be the team to beat. Um, definitely kind of funny, the teams that, you know, there are the haves and the have-nots. Uh, you know, you look at teams like the Pirates and uh, there's a nice Marte, really like Marte. The guy's awesome. Um, you got the teams that are the good teams, and then you got the teams like the Pirates and the uh, you know, the Orioles, or whatever, just teams that are just like not even competitive. And uh, it just it's it's crazy. So there's gonna be a lot. Of, are you okay? Okay. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, cracking cards with your kids at home is sometimes a little bit hard. <laughs> so sorry about the big boom. Um, no problem. He is okay. Here's another uh, foil card of Strange Gordon. Not seen any short prints yet. Might have missed one, but uh, probably not. There's a new, one of the newest Padres right there. And there's Corey Seager, who is the MVP of the 2020 series. I'm sorry if I was in the middle of something and I completely forgot what it is. I cannot remember now. There's Marcus Simeon who, uh, what did he move over to? Ah, man, I wish I've been watching um, one of the favorite things that I do is I watch uh, MLB uh, shows at night and um, but there's been so much movement lately. I get a little confused on who's going to what team and can't remember as I'm sitting here. There's Tim Anderson. Let's get going through these a little bit better. There's Trevor Bauer. There's a guy we were talking about. A 40 and a 45 million a per year contract for him. Absolutely insane. And uh, there's Mr. J.D. Davis. Um, but yeah, crazy, crazy contract for him. But I think it's going to be good for um, the Dodgers and Trevor Bauer. And then... We'll see what goes with next. I doubt he takes that 17. His third year is another option out, and he's got 17 million um, on that contract. And uh, I, I, I don't think he's going to play for 40 million, 45 million, and then 17 million. I would say either redoes that deal or he opts out and goes somewhere else. We'll see. Uh, love Tommy Edmond. Uh, one of the uh, he's going to be the everyday second baseman now that Colton Wong has moved over to. Um, our central rivals, the Brewers. Um, but really excited to see Tommy Edmond get everyday play uh, there at second base. I think he's pretty good with the glove. And, and actually, he's, uh, uh, we'll see if he uh, plays well enough to be that leadoff hitter. There's Joey Gallo. Really look, I'm a big fan of Joey Gallo's and uh, really hoping that he turns it around and has a monster year uh, this year um, because uh, I just really like him. I think he's just... Really good player. Seems like a really cool dude. And uh, just hope that he really turns it around. I mean, obviously, you don't wish wrong on anybody. So, like, <laughs> I want everybody to have a good season. But, you know, that's just not the reality. There's going to be people that have people that have good years and people that have bad years. And um, there's just certain guys that I would really like to see bounce back. I would love to see Yelich bounce back. It, it'd be only good for the game. You know, I mean, the guy's awesome. And so you just hope that 2020 is one of those kind of like fluke years and that some of these guys that had the rough 2020. There's Buster Posey. Um, he's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And uh, um, like I said, I hope some of these guys have bounced back here. Love the nice Chipper Jones. Uh Grew up a Giants fan because I, li I lived in South Carolina. I didn't have a lot of team, but I did love the Braves and I love Chipper Jones. I think the guy is awesome. I love Schmoltz and, uh, you know, like Garrell Jr. too. Really good player. There's a Robert. There's a nice Robert second year. Uh, but Chipper Jones and Glavin and uh, Avery and all those guys, they, they were awesome. 
but there's a nice gold cup. Yeah, a lot of people have complained. Yes, the gold cup's kind of in a weird spot um, because they had to save this down here for a rookie. Maybe if the gold cup was up here, maybe, or something. I'm not sure. You know, I don't get paid to work at Tops. <laughs> so they could do whatever they want to do, and uh, we'll just keep opening cards and collecting them. Um, but I know that uh, this design, you know, I'll call it right now, I'm sure I will be tired of it by the time the uh, 2021 holiday cards come out. And they will have gone through about 25 of these. There's an Eloy Jimenez who uh, is just a beast. His guy is awesome. Aguilar Rizzi, who's still out there. Um, my son, who gets lucky in these pools because he's in every one of them. We got a nice... Bryce Harper right there. So that one goes from my hands and in my collection right over to my oldest. That's why he's here. He's here to get Bryce Harper and Paul Goldschmidt cards. <laughs> also, it's AMI day. So. Yes, they know. nobody knows what that means. Um, Francisco Lindor, uh, one of his last cards there in the Indians before he gets uh, into his Mets uniform. Mr. Pujols. It's got to be coming to the end of his career soon. And uh, I think this is the last year that he's under Angel's contract. I think this might, I think 2021 is his last year. Could have one more, but maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong about that. But we will see. There's Chris Davis. Um, oh, man. Uh, I, you know, there's a guy that you just truly, uh, really liked, uh, Crush Davis. And I just... He's had such down years, it's become kind of a joke, and he started getting paid a lot of money. Let's look at this. So in 2019, he batted, what, 179? He batted 168 before that. But he had always hit home runs. But, man, from 47 to 38, 26, 16, 12, and zero home runs in 16 games last year, he batted 115. So don't. You know, you feel for the Orioles, and, and really, in all honesty, that's what one of the things that they were talking about on um, one of the MLB shows that I was watching. There's Ozuna who signed back with Atlanta, a nice four-year deal for him, nice uh, home, and there's a nice Pete Alonzo card right there. Um, but uh, what we were talking about was um, that, what was I talking about? You were talking about... Um, oh, yeah, yeah, um, about, like, is, you know, would... Players sign bigger per year deals, but shorter years, or do and would teams like that so that they're not getting stuck in these seven years and 13 year contracts for lower and then they're paying these guys forever? You know, Bobby Benilla still gets paid by the Mets every year. Um, absolutely insane. There's I don't know. We'll see if that becomes a trend or not. Uh, that was the conversation there. There's a nice Yachty Air Molina. That'll go over to my youngest son. I really like Yachty. And uh, he just signed back a one-year deal, $8 million. And so don't know if he's going to be like the last year uh, of his contract. Maybe he'll play one more. I know he wanted two more years. Uh, but definitely glad to see him back at least in the Cardinal uniform. I, I want him to retire. Not many players spend... Um, a whole year, nice judge, um, uh, a whole year, uh, or their whole career on one team. And so it's very, very um, awesome. would love to see uh, Yachty retire and spend his whole career, 18th season. Um, there is, what is that, 19, oh, what's the year on those? Um, hold on. So yes, 1972 style. I could not remember the year that that was, but yes, that's definitely going to be the new look of the Heritage Baseball coming out this year. So that's kind of a little bit of a preview of what Heritage is going to look like. Um, so I'd really like to look at these cards and uh, definitely we'll be all over some Heritage when it comes out this year. And uh, we'll probably be a little bit easier than the uh, to keep nice uh, than the uh, um, black borders of last year's. Um, Josh Bell, he's a national now, so very very cool. All right, let's keep going here. We got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more packs, eight more packs, counting this one. So I really appreciate you. I know there is so many other people out there, so many other videos that you can watch. So I really do appreciate uh, you guys stopping by and uh, watching this. 
and uh, giving this a giving this a little bit of a view. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, another numbered card. Oh, a green. That's pretty cool. Like a green, shimmery looking card. Look at that. Brandon Workman to four ninety nine. Not the player you truly want, uh, but uh, very cool looking card. Uh, dabbing, I guess, is still a thing. Uh, <laughs> there's one set of league leaders, Brady uh, Verdugo. They're manning right field over there for the Red Sox. And let's keep going. I do really like the look of these cards. I don't know if we've got any more surprises coming up. I would like to get, I know one of the big rookies this year. There's Robert and uh, Jimenez. Uh, one of the big rookies this year is um, Alec Baum. Um, he played uh, pretty good third base there for the Phillies, and I'd love to see him. Love to see his card. Uh, there's Colton Wong there. He, like I said, he is on the Milwaukee Brewers. The Brewers are getting a good one there. Uh, second baseman, uh, Gold Glover. Santana, Aguilar. Nice, awesome. There we go. There's a little something else different. Uh 70-year die cut of Derek Jeter. Very, very cool. That's what the back of those look like right there. It's a pretty awesome looking card. All right, these are always a challenge. Oh, no, that wasn't too bad to get into a sleeve. Very, very cool. Tavares, Miner, Bueller, Mookie Betts, and Mr. Paul DeYoung. we could find a short print couldn't we that would be really awesome i will say there's mike trout um we haven't seen the the uh, number one card either which is uh number one of the set which is fernando tatis jr I haven't seen him either luke voigt letting home runs canna um yeah i love hobby boxes i love getting them and uh just tired of dealing with retail i don't know if it'll be as, just as hard this year to get it but uh Really wanted to start off the year with a, a hobby box. Um, my LCS had a pretty good price, one of the cheaper prices that I had seen. Uh, I'm sure they'll come down a little bit, but that's all right. But um, I know there's a lot of cards in here. So these videos get a little long. So like I said, I do appreciate you watching. If you're still watching, there's Jimenez, uh, rookie. He is one of the guys that went over in the trade uh, for Lindor. So he is now an Indian. Urias... Kepler, Voigt, Clayton Kershaw. We have a gold foil of Yuli Gurel. Oh, what I was saying is I got I like buying hobby boxes. I know there's a lot of cards, but I don't usually have a ton of luck in these things. So um but that's what it is. It is definitely kind of a gamble on uh, obviously if you're gonna get something or not. But I my luck on hobby boxes are not great, but uh there still a great great box and it's this saves me from running around and uh to every walmart and target and looking at empty shelves <laughs> so oh there we go there's alec Baum right there uh one of the uh gonna hopefully be one of the top rookies this year there's gavin lux a future star really truly hopefully uh i think there's gonna be a spot obviously they opened it up well, where kiki hernandez moved on and it's probably going to be uh, they open up that second base spot for uh, Gavin Lux there. So hopefully he'll have a little bit of time to settle in and have a good year. Um, obviously, he was one of the big rookies last year, but did not even really play very well. There's the number one guy in the set, and that is Fernando Tatis Jr., pretty much the face of baseball this year. He's going to be on MLB The Show uh, cover this year and number one card here and uh, I'm sure he's going to be on a lot of uh, baseball card boxes, be the cover boy of that. So uh, very, very cool. Love having the, him be the face of baseball. He is an exciting player to watch. Another 1986 card, Barry Larkin. Pretty sweet. Obviously, Barry Larkin has a 1986 card. And uh, now he has a 2021 1986 card. There's Brendan McKay. Chat with Ronald Acuna Jr. sliding into second, still in a base, and then Guerrero Jr., the regular card. We only got three more packs left. 
Hope you guys get a chance to get out there and get you a box. Bote, Lester. This always looks like uh, like they're about to actually go at it, but uh, they're just playing around. <laughs> Workman, Olsen. Chapman, Kane, Kennedy, Bieber, hands up, masks up, another card. So in, in 2020, and there's not Mr. One. So there's a cover boy right there, his base card. All right, let's see. Really, the only thing I guess I got left is possibly a short print, but I... Doubt. There's oh, there's another rookie. Um, they did say you know there's um, he might actually start the season down in the minor league, so we'll see if his uh, rookie cards. But always really nice to get some rookies, and I think he's going to be a really really good player. Uh, there's uh, Tyler Stevenson's card. We obviously got his auto in the 1986 style, and uh, so cool and calm there. He's just blowing a bubble while he's waiting for a fly ball. There's Mr. Daza. Kyle Lewis, there we go. We got the Rookie of the Year last year. We got his Gold Cup card. Uh, he's jumping up. Uh, looks like he's going to try to rob a homer there. That's pretty cool. Trey Turner, great, amazing shortstop. Here's a nice uh, throwback card. It says, in 1957, Topps introduced a 2x5x3x5 by 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 inch card to mention that would be... Come the standard for the decades that followed. Full color photography, as opposed to colorized player image, also made its debut in the hobby. In addition to the 407 count checklist packed with future Hall of Famers, the set also included combo cards of prominent teammates. So 1957 uh, style Cal Ripken Jr. goes down as obviously one of the best Hall of Famer there. Very, very cool card. Detroit, uh, Josh Harrison, Arena, Ian Anderson, who is kind of a beast. There's David Dahl, who is now on a Texas Ranger. And our last pack. Let's see what we get in our last pack. Where's the other? Oh, my son just saved me from stopping the video. He said second to last pack. I forgot. We do have that awesome silver pack. That We could have something big in there. So very, very cool. Thank you, O. Uh, Varsho. This is all... Man, a nice rookie run pack there. Like you said, you never know anything about rookies. Uh, if they're going to be uh, good or whatever in the future. So I really like collecting rookies. There's another rookie right there in the 1986 style. I'm out of sleeves. I've got a pack here. And so there's a 1987. I'll put that on there so you guys can look at it real quick while I get a sleeve. But 1986, first baseman or outfielder. I think he plays first base too, right? Ryan in Mount Castle. Very, very, very cool. Glad to get another 1986 card. Uh, Rojas Brewers. Nice. Got a Jack Flaherty. Um, I will say, though, I believe that Jack Flaherty will probably be a Cardinal for the next year or two. Um, and I think they keep, I think he will be the next big Dodger. I <laughs> really do. I'm going to call it now. And not that that's like some kind of like bold prediction. I think everybody else is saying it too, but uh, he's from LA. And so real right. Let's do something big and huge here. Oh my goodness. These cards look absolutely, absolutely amazing. I uh, love the 86, and I love these mojos. There's a nice Hank Aaron. Rest in peace, buddy. Uh, passed away. One of those guys that passed away, and uh, uh, just an amazing, amazing player. To me, still the home run champion. All right, who else we got? Nice. We got a, kind of a uh, vintage uh, player pack. Nice Nolan Ryan. That's pr awesome. Got us a rookie of Tejada, or Tejada, or whatever you say that. That's pretty cool. Have not heard of him. And then we got us an Aaron Judge, and that'll wrap it up. Like I said, thanks, guys. This video, we took our time. We had a big old hobby box. It's 41 minutes. 
I don't expect a lot of people to watch it uh, all the way through, but do if you have, I really do appreciate it. Um, really awesome cards. Let's go ahead and put, we got our numbered card of 499 there. Got a lot of awesome rainbow foils, a lot of 86, a nice rookies. Um, we got our star autograph there of Tyler Stevenson, and we got us a gold of Mr. Joey Bart. So I really do appreciate everybody watching. Uh, thank you so much. I'm hoping this will be the first video of a lot in 2021 as we go through um, this year of collecting. So appreciate it, everybody. Have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Bye.